Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. A student in last lecture we did four questions from exercise 13.2 question number 5 6 7 and 8 today we are going to do four more questions of this exercise 13.2 the topic of this exercise is position vector so first I would suggest all those students who are new in my channel kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is AdMath watch previous lectures of this exercise after watching previous lectures you will have good command on this topic let's start question number 9 relative to an origin O the position vector of A is OA position vector means a vector whose tail lies at origin so 3i minus 2j and the position vector of B that is OB equals to 15i plus 7j part A find the vector AB so we have already learned that we can convert any vector in terms of position vector so AB can be write OB minus OA OB is given 15i plus 7j minus OA is given 3i minus 2j is equals to 15i plus 7j minus 3i minus minus plus 2j i subtract or add in i and j subtract or add in j 15 minus 3 is 12i 7 plus 2 is 9 so 12i plus 9j is our final answer move to part B I am taking another color in order to distinguish between part A and part B the point C lies on AB such that AC equals to 1 over 3 AB find the position vector of C very easy convert this AC as a position vector that is OC minus OA equals to 1 over 3 AB AB we have already find in part A that is 12i plus 9j so OC is equals to 3 4 is a 12 4i plus 3 3 is a 9 3j and this left hand side minus OA shifted on right hand side that is plus OA 4i plus 3j what is the value of OA which is given in the question 3i minus 2j so 4i plus 3i is 7i 3j minus 2j is 1j or you may write only j so 7i plus j is our final answer so you can see that how easy these questions are if you have complete concept of position vector move to question number 10 
what is question number 10 read carefully relative to an origin the position vector of a is 6i plus 6j so you have to write oa is equals to 6i plus 6j and the position vector of b it means ob is equals to 12i minus 2j part a find a b very easy a b can be write o b minus o a o b is given 12 i minus 2 j minus o a is given 6 i plus 6 j but this minus can be converted it is 6 i minus 6 j you must know you must understand the sign conversion of signs plus to minus and minus to plus is very important so 12i minus 6i is 6i minus 6j minus 2j is minus 8j so our final answer is 6i minus 8j answer of part A move to part B the point C lies on AB such that AC equals to 3 over 4 AB find the position vector of C so first write 3 upon 4 AB AB we have already find in part A that is 6 I minus 8 J so 3 upon 4 3 6 18 18 upon 4 I minus 3 8 is a 24 upon 4 J and AC can be converted at OC minus OA so 18 upon 4 is 9 upon 2 I minus 4 6 is a 24 so it is 6 J now OC is equals to 9 upon 2i minus 6j this minus OA becomes plus OA on this side so 9 upon 2i minus 6j plus OA what is OA? OA is given 6i plus 6j cancel this 6j by this minus 6j so 9 upon 2i plus 6i 2 6 is 12 12 plus 9 is 21 21 upon 2j uh, sorry 21 upon 2i or you may write 10.5i so 10.5i is our final answer but answer in the book is not this uh, so you can say that the answer in the book is wrong because I checked three times this question and I found every time I found 10.5i but if anyone can find the answer which is given in the book of this question number 10 kindly write in comment box then I will accept my mistake and then I will do that question again otherwise I checked three times this question and uh, after checking three times uh, my answer is remains same that is 10.5i now move to question number 11 another very easy question relative to an origin O the position vector of A O A equals to 3 upon 4 or uh, sorry it's not upon it's 3 4 that is on x axis is 3 and y axis on 4 so 3 4 and the position vector of B that is O B is equals to 5 5 
the points A, B and C are such that BC is equals to 2AB find the position vector of C that is we have to find OC so first we have to find AB which is equals to OB minus OA OB is given 5 5 minus OA is given 3 4 5 minus 3 is 2 5 minus 4 is 1 2 A now apply the condition BC is equals to 2 AB BC can be write OC minus OB 2 AB AB we have find 2 1 so 2 to the 4 2 1 the 2 and OC is equals to 4 2 minus OB becomes plus OB 4 2 put the value of OB that is 5 5 5 plus 4 is 9 5 plus 2 is 7 9 7 is our final answer of question number 11 very easy question move to question number 12 it's very interesting question question number 12 Question number 12 is relative to an origin the position vectors of point A, B and C are so OA is given minus 5i minus 11j OB is given 23i minus 4j OC is given lambda into i minus 3j so these three position vectors are given given that C lies on the line AB find the value of lambda so C is lies on the line AB so it means all are parallel vectors so we can write AC is equals to you know when vectors are parallel then they are multiple of each other so we can say this is the multiple of any constant that is k so ac is equals to kab so first we have to find ab how ab is equals to ob minus oa ob is given 23i minus 4j minus oa is given minus 5i minus 11j 23i minus 4j minus minus plus 5i minus minus plus 11j 23i plus 5i is 28i 11 minus 4 is 7j so this is AB now AC is equals to KAB means it is OC minus OA is equals to K times a B that is 28 I plus 7 J okay students now move O C is what lambda into I minus 3 J minus O A is what minus 5 I minus 11 J is equals to multiply this K by I that is 28 I K by 7 J that is 7 K J lambda multiplied by i is lambda i minus 3 lambda j minus minus plus 5 i minus minus plus 11 j is equals to 28 i plus 7 k j so this is called the vector algebra take both i taking common i is common so it is lambda plus 5 taking j is common then minus 3 lambda plus 11 is equals to 28 i plus 7 kj 
because ABC lies in the same line so we have to compare I to I and J to J so on left hand side the coefficient of I is lambda plus 5 and the right hand side it is 28 sorry 28 K this is my mistake so 28 K on left hand side the coefficient of j is minus 3 lambda plus 11 on right hand side the coefficient of j is 7k now we have two equations separate subject make the subject k lambda plus 5 upon 28 is equals to k equation number 1 minus 3 lambda plus 11 upon 7 is equals to k equation number 2 compare both the equations so lambda plus 5 upon 28 is equals to minus 3 lambda 11 upon 7 7 for the 28 lambda plus 5 4 3 is a minus 12 lambda 4 11 is a 44 lambda plus 12 lambda 44 minus 5 so 12 plus 1 is 13 lambda 44 minus 5 is 39 lambda is equals to 13 3 is a 39 hence the value of lambda is 3 and this is our correct answer and this is our today's lecture where we did four more questions that is 11 9 10 11 and 12 I hope you enjoyed today's class but if you feel any difficulty in today's class or previous classes write in comment box I promise you I will help you so what is left in this exercise exercise 13.2 question number 13 very easy question number 14 question number 15 and yes only three questions are left 13 14 15 so in a single lecture I will complete the whole exercise I request all of you kindly to subscribe my channel I am doing very hard work for you so this is my right to subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can all of your friends school friend coaching friend and all friends which are giving which are appearing in uh, add mass paper next year. Okay students, good luck for next lecture.